Thanks for the introduction, Kelly. Hi, everyone. My name is Perin Dumans. I am the product owner of commercial API team within ABN Amro Bank. Today, I will be bringing you to our open banking journey. I hope you enjoy it. We started our journey two years ago. ABN Amro decided to go beyond PSD2 and we set the pace. In the last two years, we uh, put three different commercial APIs to Dutch market. There is an evolution in banking, and this evolution is happening on the way that we are serving to our clients. Years back, it started just with relationship managers, and then we added client services and also online channels. Now we are moving on the direction of introducing APIs to our clients. Why APIs? Because we do believe in APIs. APIs are real time, easy to access. You can create your efficiency. They are secure. They are easy to connect and flexible. In the last years, we aim to develop a financial cockpit supported by easy to use and scalable APIs. As a client, you would be able to do your reconciliation, check your account details, or get real-time notifications via, um, uh, via our APIs directly from your CRM, TMS, or ERP systems. If we look back what we have achieved so far, this is the view of our API funnel in ABN AMRO. We are PSD2 compliant, and when you look at the commercial APIs in every single phase, we have some APIs. So I will be talking about the APIs that we have uh, on pilot and live phases. So if you look at uh, the uh, current uh, commercial API offering, we created successfully the foundation of cash management. We launched the first API that we launched is Business Account Insight API. Uh, with this API, you can obtain real time data on your account. And uh, the second API that we launched is Business Account Notification API, uh, which is on pilot phase at the moment. You can get real time notifications on your bank account based on the conditions that you give to the bank. The third API, which is on pilot phase as well, um, it was launched. Uh, in November 2020, uh, you can initiate a payment directly from your ERP or TMS system. So are you there once you have the API market ready? Of course not. Uh, at the top of your APIs, you should be able to do the billing, of course. What kind of billing, billing structure are you going to apply? And uh, can you integrate it in your systems and make it automized? There is also the onboarding flow. So um, APIs are already a complex thing for a client. So if you also make onboarding a complex thing, most probably the clients would not be really interested in in uh, using your APIs anymore. So you need to be uh, you need to be uh, very careful there, uh, be very careful there to be able to make this flow as as smooth as possible. And dashboarding. So how your APIs are behaving? Uh, what's the traction in the market? All this data. Um, uh, we are working on at the moment to show it uh, and internally and externally um, to our clients and internal stakeholders. We are also busy with the support flow. Um, uh, you should be able to make incident management, onboarding, offboarding, maintenance, all these flows in a fluent and smooth way. Um, so where do we stand today and where are we heading to? Like I said, we are at the moment PSD2 compliant and we publish already open banking APIs and where we are willing to go is the ecosystem part. So what is an ecosystem? We would like to have more partnerships and we would like to talk with more third parties and then co-create with them. So, um, so what is an ecosystem? So ecosystem, um, is completely opposite of ecosystem. Ecosystem is product based. So it's centralized, scheduled, on and closed, all invented inside hyper competition, spent and trash one way, one too many. Ecosystem is distributed. So it's real time, shared and open, invented anywhere, hyper collaboration, use and renew, two ways, many too many. So instead of product based, you are becoming participation based. So we talked about uh, what we have done so far, but how did we do it? How did we bring pace to commercial APIs in ABN Amro Bank? We have, be, we have been using their methodology. Their, their methodology as, uh, is bringing three uh, different layers so, together. So we bring design thinking, lean startup and agile together in the way of working. 
Let's focus on the design thinking and lean startup part. So we start with clients because we are client centric. We empathize. So we talk with the clients, listen them, not just to listen, but really listen them, listen them to understand what the problem is. And then we define the problem. And if necessary, we really force each other to rethink and reset and we ideate. And right after that, we create a prototype. In the meanwhile, we make sure that we keep the client in the loop so as to keep them engaged. And then um, we bring the prototype to the client to show uh, if this is the thing that, that, that they want. And after we get um, a thumbs up from client side, we push it to MVP. So on IT side, we start building and then we measure it and then we learn. If it doesn't work, we go back to building and measure and learn. So there is a cycle of lean startup here. And, and when we are doing this design thinking and uh, lean startup, we do it all in agile way of working. So we have a biz dev op structure, meaning that business IT people are working together in a team. So we start from ideation validation one, prototype validation two, pilot and life. We do all this cycle with IT and business together. What are the advantages? Team close to the customer, business and IT cooperate. Vision of IT developer counts because you can't imagine uh, how brilliant ideas they can bring to the team. We don't have silo mindset anymore because everyone is collaborating with each other. No hands over. Normally uh, on the ideation phase, um, um, some companies do not involve IT people in it. What we do is already from the beginning, we involve IT people uh, to keep them connected because their idea is important. Uh, the technical feasibility of the idea that we bring is very important. So it's good to know it already from the beginning. So we have faster development and uh, the team is responsible from end to end journey and whatever we build on the team, we are also responsible to keep the lights on. Um, so these are all the way that we do it in the team. But when it comes to customer, um, client interaction is crucial. So we need to be able to understand the financial chain of the customer. So the customer needs to identify itself and then they need to connect to the channel. And after that, they can get the insight on their accounts, do the invoicing, payment collection or reconciliation or cash and liquidity management. But within this chain, when you look, it's a lot of layers. You have different processes. But on the other hand, the clients want, want, uh, want digital for, uh, digitalization. So they want 24 seven service. They want to do it themselves. They want more insight and oversight. They want flexibility and also f uh, scalability. On the other hand, they are also pushed by the regulation, Basel, uh, ba uh, Basel 3, Basel 4, or IFRS or PSD2. But they also would like to introduce uh, some new technology. So instant payments, artificial intelligence, robotics, big data, open banking APIs, they are all happening in the market. And they would like to, of course, um, inter introduce all this to their companies. So what we are trying to do in client interaction is we try to keep it as simple as possible and we are as open as possible as well. So what we say to our clients is, Normally, if you want to initiate a payment, you need to go to your ERP system and then you need to log into the online channel of the bank and then the information can reach to the bank. What if you don't have the online channel of the bank in between these layers? Then they start to understand the efficiency of an API. So what we say is as ABN AMRO, we will create an API. This API needs to be integrated to your system. When it's in, in, uh, integrated, you can make a real-time call where we can, op uh, we can provide you um, uh, your account information or you can do real-time uh, payment initiation. When it comes to uh, the fact that this API needs to be integrated on their system by their selves, the challenge starts. So we have some lessons learned there. 
Um, so the use cases of um, the use cases of the clients uh, differ uh, from uh, from client to client. Um, so. It is also very difficult for a client to create their use cases because they need to understand uh, what an API is and they need to uh, know what is actually lacking and what's the pain point and then they can really create a use case. And we are also very open to our clients. We say we are learning every day. So it is like a co-creation and we do design thinking. So we, uh, we actually uh, drag them in our innovation. We do it together. And um, on the other hand, um, what we have been experiencing on client side is um, after we explain what an API is, clients are getting very, very enthusiastic. But then when it comes to, hey, you need to integrate it to your system, this is where the problem starts. Problem, it's not a problem, but it's the reality. Then the IT budget, resources, capability, skills in the, uh, in the, in the company, um, because of all these kind of reasons, they cannot prioritize to embed this API to their systems. So uh, when we look at the team challenges uh, within the bank that we are facing with already yeah, two years, um, there is a traditional way of working in the bank. So the way that we work is um, is biz DevOps. So it is an other way of working if you compare it with the, with the other teams. And uh, we uh, apply really high tech uh, in our um, in our MVPs. Uh, we try to uh, use, um, use the new technology as, as much as possible. We automize everything. And all that kind of layers are bringing us uh, to bumpy roads because we are the first ones in the bank and we need to um, be able to explain why we are doing it and uh, how it can benefit the bank and ultimately the client. Um, so it is a little bit of a proud moment at the moment. Um, so in 2019, this is where we started our journey as commercial API team. Um, uh, we were here like as uh, plotted um, in red. So this is a, a picture from uh, InnoPay on open banking monitor. So in 2020, we made a really big jump and we are super proud of this. And uh, I am hoping that in the coming years, we would be moving even more up uh, uh, somewhere here. And um, all the APIs that I'm talking about, they are uh, all uh, on our developer portal. Uh, our developer portal is not just uh, developer, uh, developer friendly. We are also trying uh, our best to make it business people friendly uh, as possible. So please have a look. We are keen to hear uh, from you. Uh, what your experiences are, what we can still um, um, improve. And um, we also keep on saying you always pass failure, failure on your way to success. Didn't we make any mistakes? Of course we did. We devalidated also ideas, but you just need to let it go sometimes. So we keep on saying to our customers, let's, let's explore the future together because we are in this journey together, not alone as a bank, but also with the clients. What we would like to do, uh, to, to do banking better and to do the bank, to do banking open. Um, so thanks for uh, listening to me. I hope you enjoy it. And in case uh, you would like to ask any questions, um, uh, please uh, connect with me via LinkedIn because I will not be able to there for the uh, Q&A. Um, I'm wishing you a great day.